organizations and teams can calculate the sigma level of a product or process using this equation. So, the equation says, total number of opportunities in a given time, minus, the number of defects or errors occurred out of these opportunities, divided by total number of opportunities again. Multiplying it by 100 we get the yield value in percentage. Consider a process in a marketing department that distributes letters to customers or prospects. For the purposes of the example, imagine that the process inserts 30,000 letters in pre-dressed envelopes each day. In a given business week, the process outputs 150,000 letters. The marketing department begins receiving complaints that people are receiving letters in envelopes that are addressed to them, but the letters inside are addressed to or relevant to someone else. The marketing department randomly selects 1,000 letters from the next week's batch and finds that 5 of them have errors. Applying that to the total amount, they estimate that as many as 750 letters could have errors. We will learn about sampling and extrapolation in depth in the advanced chapters on statistics. The letter process has 150,000 opportunities for error each week and an estimated 750 defects. So, by the formula we get, 150,000 total opportunities, minus 750 defects out of these opportunities, divided by this 150,000 opportunities again. And multiplying by 100 we get to yield of 99.5%. Now, we will use this abridged sigma table to find out the sigma level for this problem. Here we see that for different yield values different defects per million opportunity values or DPMO values are given. Also the different sigma levels for the different yield value and different DPMO value are as low given. Here in this example we have a yield of 99.5%. In this table here we can see 99.3790% yield with a 4.0 sigma level. And here we can see 99.5340% yield with a 4.1 sigma level. So, this obtained yield value of 99.5% falls between 99.3790% and 99.5340% in this table. So, the process described in our example is currently between 4 and 4.1 sigma. So, this is how we can calculate sigma level of any given process.